Shabbat Shalom everyone. This week it is going to be Parshat by Yikra Di Shabbat. And it's very interesting. We see the greatness of humility inside the Torah. Just from the first Pasuk itself from the Torah where it says the words when Hashem is calling up Moshe to speak to him directly through divine communication. It says the words Vayikra. But it says the word, the letter Aleph, in a small letter. And the, it's been taught from the sages that that small letter, the small ot of the Aleph, symbolizes the humility of Moshe Rabbeinu, of Moses, the greatness that he had in all the tasks he did. But despite, it was Hashem that uh, actually told him to actually lead Am Yisrael. He had so much humility, he felt for his brother Aaron Cohen that uh, how could he be the leader, a younger brother, where Aaron Cohen he is possibly older, he's an older brother, he should have the cover of the other. still. Moshe Rabbeinu became the manhig of Am Yisrael, became the leader of Am Yisrael because of all the great humility he had, as we see inside the Torah, where it relates over that he did, didn't want to lead Am Yisrael. He thought of himself as a regular person with all his tasks that he did. However, Hashem commanded him. And we see the greatness of humility all throughout the Torah. There's a precedent, there's a blueprint to it. For example, the Talmud in Shabbat relates over the great story of our sage Hillel, Hillel Azaken. Who one time there, there was two wicked people that came and wanted to wager if they can get Hillel as they can, Hillel the elder, angry. They made the bet with themselves of Arbama Odzuz, 400 uh, Zuz. And that was a monetary term back in the Talmudic days. And they tried to get him angry. They made a wager. Someone said he can't, the other one said he can. So the person that said he will get angry went to him in the middle of while he was getting dressed on going inside a hot shower on Shabbat and said, where is this Hillel? Where is this Hillel? With such a chutzpahdik uh, way. So he came out of the shower and said, tell, tell me whatever you want, my friend. Tell me, Hillel said. He said, gave him a ridiculous question and then again said, where is this Hillel? Where is this Hillel? And did this several times and yet Hillel did not get angry. And he said how great it is to have humility and to have kindness and to have gentleness. And he lost the bet. The guy that was short Hillel will get angry and uh, Hillel actually, Hillel as a Ken, the elder said, it's better to lose all that money than to get a great rabbi like Hillel angry. And that's a humility, that's a greatness. They say that when someone is arrogant inside, the, uh, someone's got an arrogant trait and gets anger, it's the equivalent of breaking the three cardinal sins. That's how great of an Aveira it is. And that's how one should emulate themselves to be humble they say you know why get angry sometimes you know what's the point anger is just going to lead to uh, chaos and everything else why let the person one is angry get off scot free with all this anger someone gets inside themselves one should have a calmness a calm approach like the Moshe Rabbeinu and uh, everything else however one also should realize how the cynic could say how can someone uh, uh, stop anger we should all remember that we all come from dust we'll come from uh, pretty much nothing and we're gonna leave as dust also from this world we're here we're put in this world for 120 years you know hot shots out there will say look how much great money I can uh, get how much prestige I can get how much ego I can get and everything else but it's not all about ego it's about humility about showing other people in this world that we care for other people we love other people we want good for other people but the hot shot out uh, the hot shot the arrogant person says Rashad that says as we can learn in the Haggadah in Lela Seder will say look how much I can garner up inside this world how much glory I can get how much I can put other people down how much I am in the right how much I am Mr. or Mrs. Miss Perfect or whatever it is when that should not be the case we should come out and care for each other do good for each other advocate for each other like Moshe Rabbeinu did he gave himself selflessly for Am Yisrael through all those years inside the wilderness Hillel as again he gives himself selflessly every Erev Shabbat answering the Shailot and everything else we should emulate these great people and not be all about ego and arrogance and uh, this world and everything else. Everything that we do inside this world, all the mitzvot we do, all the way we should get humble. We should humble ourselves before Hashem with our tefillot, with our prayers, because that is going to get ourselves the main olam abba and and show other people how we can also improve. Another interesting thing is the arrogant person could say who's been very very arrogant. How can I overcome this? and everything else. I, I was arrogant so much, so much of my life. We cheated in business, cheated in many things, the person could say. However, the trick is, the best thing that one can do is advocate to other people 
to, you know, go to anger management, to help themselves, to become more humble, to give more charity, it might be, to work on their relationships, whatever it might be. Because at the end, the anger, the arrogance, all of these things that take someone out of this world and it's infectious, other people, everyone gets affected. It's like a disease where everyone suffers because of the arrogance and the anger of someone. And when someone is humble and right and loving and caring, it's infectious the other way and helps so many people the other way also. Guys, have an awesome Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom and Chodesh Tov if you're listening here on Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Take care. Bye.